asked you guys firstly well welcome to india and thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah and i know <laughs> all three of you play half foots right like if i'm pronouncing that correct you are yeah, yeah. so how, how exactly is a half foot different from maybe a hobbit or are they the same thing um well, I think the the half foots and the hobbits they they share a lot of physical similarities. You know, they both have the feet and they have the ears. Yeah. Um, but the main kind of difference I'd say is probably in their circumstances. So when we meet the hobbits, they have the shire. Yeah. They have yeah, a they home. Have like community. They have yeah. Community. You yeah. know, when we have community, but we don't really have a solid sense of place yet okay. and, uh, and a home, and so. I think they they contrast each other in that way. Okay, yeah. and what was it like getting into character? Because I mean, you're, you're all three like pretty tall. So how is it you know <laughs> like getting into a character that's that's half your height? Well, what was, did your did your mannerisms have to change? Did you have to? What was it like on set? You know, just uh, having to uh, behave a lot shorter than you actually are. Mm. Um, we had an incredible movement coach. Okay, her name was Lara, and she gave us lots of references. The first one that kind of has really stuck with me is to walk like a five-year-old child. <laughs> um, and so that has sort of been the half-foot base walk. And then from that, we created individual individual um, characteristics um, from that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, on set, to do with sort of the, the height um, and the size difference, we had like s scale sets, yeah, yeah. so everything you know. If we were eating an apple, it was a it was huge, <laughs> or if we were next to a tree, it was really tall. Okay, everything that they yeah, built was, yeah. was a lot bigger. And I think um, Dylan, who plays Largo, um, he comes in carrying a massive rabbit. Like I think it was like it one was of the, it's like the biggest the rabbit, rabbit I've ever wow. seen. Yeah, it's like huge. a real rabbit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it was wonderful how they did that because um, it, it just made us feel that sense of smallness in a, in a larger yeah. world. Mm. But also it was completely practical. So we yeah. didn't have to pretend anything. We yeah. were literally using you know massive berries, massive pumpkins, big yeah. rabbits. Um, yeah. And then Markella had a unique situation in terms of a lot of her work. To, to do with scale. Yeah, to do with scale. I mean, I think we also, we had such wonderful scale doubles as well. And we had this, we had this three hour session that they called Scale Academy, okay. which we all went to, mm. which was them trying to explain to us the technicalities of scale. Which I don't remember which, at all. No. <laughs> I, couldn't tell you. I remember the Literally chart. Literally couldn't tell you. That's what I remember. Yeah, like, yeah. I can yeah. remember them walking up and down doing this. And talking <laughs> yeah. and being like, I'm so sorry, you're amazing. I cannot <laughs> comprehend. It was anything. very mathematical. Very okay. technical, um, okay. but yeah, no, it was it was brilliant. We had such a wonderful crew that was so accommodating because of that, and really yeah. allowed us to to have our process as actors and work together. So, yeah, it was great. Right, that that's that's great. Just to conclude this, I gotta ask you guys. Um, you know, I'm sure all of you at some point were Lord of the Rings fans, or you know, became through the set. Was there anyone on set who was like, you know, guys, I think we're not, you know, this is not that much close to the source material. Who's the biggest Lord of the Rings fan on the set? <laughs> who do you think it is outside of maybe, you know, like JD, who is, of course, the showrunner? I would say, I think, um, the, I think everyone has their own experiences with Tolkien and yeah. Tolkien's law. I'd say a lot of us go to Rob okay. for Tolkien. Um, <laughs> Wisdom. Okay, got yeah. it. Or kind of but we also, to, yeah. But we also have a um a Tolkien expert. expert. We do. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 And he knows everything. And he would actually send us quotes every day. Yeah. Yes. Tolkien's quotes work. of the day. Oh, we get a quote yeah, of the day every that. day for the entire time we yeah. were there. Yeah. And um, that was yeah. really inspirational. Okay. And kept us kept us in that that yeah. world, that large yeah. world of Middle Earth. And creatures that we'd be afraid of, like it's in this document. But out of the cast, I think we would. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, great. Well, I wish you guys luck. And yeah, I can't wait to see the Rings of Power on September 2nd. Thanks. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.